web design makes it extremely easy to create new websites using the built-in templates. It offers both ready-made templates to base your website on, or a set of blank page layouts. When you first launch web design, you will see the New Website Project window as shown. You can either select one of the pre-made templates, open an existing website, or create a new web page using the web page wizard. Scroll through the available templates, which range from fully developed websites to blank templates. Once you have chosen a template, press the Select button. Web Design's Site Manager will open, along with a Site Settings window. From this window, you can select a predefined FTP account to publish your website to. At this time, you can ignore this option if you do not yet have a web host set up. Your purchase of web design comes with four free months of web hosting to get you started. Details on how to take advantage of this offer can be found in your order confirmation email. Once you have entered your website settings, all of your website files will be listed for you in the Site Manager. The index.html file is the default page that will load when someone enters your domain name into their web browser. The rest of the pages are sub-pages linked from the navigation menu of each page. The Site Manager provides everything you need to manage your website in web design. You can add new files by pressing the plus button underneath the file listing. If you are using a template, the new pages will be based on your existing template file. The file labeled index.html is your default page. We will double-click the index.html to open it up in Web Design's editor. As you can see, Web Design provides a text editor and a visual preview of your website, which gets updated as you edit your page. If you have used Apple's Pages software, you may notice the similarities between the two applications. Web Design provides a sub toolbar at the top of the window that provides common tasks like changing fonts, font size, styles, colors, as well as inserting more advanced code such as lists, tables, links, and images. Just like any word processing application, Web Design lets you select a block of text and easily apply style changes, such as making the text bold, italic, or underlined. Just select a block of text and press the B button in the sub toolbar, or press Command B on your keyboard. Likewise, many of the other styling options can be applied in a similar manner. In addition to what is provided in the sub toolbar, Web Design also provides over 40 built in wizards, which can be inserted into your web page from the Tools window on the left hand side of your screen, or the Insert menu in your menu bar at the top of your screen. With Web Design, you can quickly and easily drag and drop HTML wizards from the Tools window into your document. Since only content placed within the body tags, will be rendered in your browser, all wizards should be placed within these tags. Web Design makes it extremely easy to work with your HTML web page files. All of your HTML tags are color-coded, so you can easily separate HTML markup with regular text content. Syntax coloring also allows you to easily spot basic coding errors in your HTML. Web Design also includes auto-completion of HTML tags, attributes, and attribute values. As you type, a list of all available HTML tags and attributes will be provided. You can use your keyboard's arrow keys to select one of the available options. Pressing the Tab key on your keyboard will insert the currently selected autocomplete tag. You will also notice that Web Design provides HTML attribute suggestions and attribute value suggestions, 
including a built-in color picker to easily insert web-safe colors into your document. Lastly, web design also includes an easy-to-use attribute editor. Open the attribute editor by clicking the Attributes button in the toolbar. Now, when you click within an HTML tag, the Attributes Editor will list all the attributes for the selected HTML tag to easily edit them. If an attribute requires a specific value, you can select it from the predefined list. Most of your HTML needs can be handled by Web Design's sub toolbar directly above Web Design's text editor. For example, the Font menu provides access to commonly used WebSafe fonts, while the Color button will let you specify the text color of the currently selected text. When you are finished editing your website, you can go back to your Site Manager and use the Prepare Site button to check your site for coding errors and broken links. In addition, you can also apply various modifications to your entire site. You can convert your site to XHTML or CSS. You can optimize your HTML code so it loads faster for your visitors, or change the case of your HTML tags. Once we have applied any changes to our site, we can publish our website to our server by clicking the Publish Site button. Web Design will only publish modified files. We will have to enter our server information. But once we have done this once, Web Design will remember these details when publishing in the future.